but the, the idea is to see pictures, to comp, so, you know, to get that picture in your head. Dawn is the time when the light's going away from you. You see, you see the light leaving you, whereas sunset you see the light coming to you. Yeah. So it's, it's it's a very different kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What else you've done? You've changed your you've changed your composition. Go back to your first yeah. one. Oh, I did actually. Yeah, I moved. Now, it, yeah, and that's a good move because you know there's nothing there. What, yeah. Why yeah. have it? Kind yeah. of thing. You know. Yeah. Now come back to your other shot. And it's a much more interesting shot, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. it's got depth, it's got... Yeah. And, and it's got more of a story. Yeah. And everybody will see a scene differently, there's no doubt about that. That's good about photography, there's no right composition, there's just ones will look better than, than another kind of thing. You know, the idea of having the, the trowel is, is good, but I think it needs to be more, it needs to be bigger. It need to be... At the moment I'm thinking, what is the picture of? That's lovely, I like that, that composition, that's really oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Good. More, more of a 3D concept idea to the picture. Uh, I'd probably start looking to try a bit of an angle. And the idea of shooting from behind a chair, whether it's that chair or another chair, um, sort of says it puts the eye in the place. So you, the viewer becomes the person sitting in the chair yeah. in the, in, on the bench. And when you've got that view, so you know those benches down there looking out over that part of the view, yeah. you've sort of focused on the chair, something interesting about the chair, and then the view in the background is out of focus, you, you, you're getting your, your viewer to imagine, to imagine what's, oh, I could sit there. Yeah. So you're placing the, the person in the, person looking at the picture is placed in the picture. No, that's okay. great. No, that, and this is what happens in the heat of the moment when you've got something really interesting happening, is the composition can suffer a little bit. Yeah. Because you're, oh my God, this bird, this guy, flashing all this kind of stuff, you know? And yeah. that's just natural. It happens to professionals too. You just that you've got a lot happening. You've got to take moments to take a, take a breath. But sure. if you do, the bird goes. So if you're in that situation where a lot is happening, what can be useful is to actually pull your, your zoom back a little bit or step yeah. back a little step bit. Back. Just give yourself more room to move. So right. this picture will work a bit better if it's cropped a little bit tighter. Just keep that in mind and, and for those situations where there's a lot happening, zoom out a little bit so that you've got more information and you can always crop later in the, in the computer to, to fine tune your picture. When you start to do even things, the first shot had a, the fork of a tree and it wasn't quite even because it's a tree, you know, it's not, it's not completely symmetrical. So the second shot they've shown me played on the fact that it's not symmetrical. So you've made it un yeah. not symmetrical so, and that works a hell of a lot better. I like the framing, but that is much better than than that. Yeah. And it's just a yeah, subtle change, isn't it? Uh, stepping back a bit, maybe zooming in a little bit. Yeah. So this is the the whole thing that can happen from that. So.